Hey guys, today I'm going to do some more uh, Petrus method example solves because uh, quite a few people were requesting it. So here's my first scramble. Um, not sure what I would do. Okay, so probably um, I see that I can, th these two edges, I can just put them like that and I just need to organize a pair. So I see these two pieces are here and I can form the pair like this and then I just connect to the edge and put it down and I always build my block in the back uh, back right if possible so now I can exp expand to here or here depending on which one seems best uh, this one looks a bit better so this one um, what I do is first I put this down here because I recognize that um, I sort of recognize this case where you can just do this and just finish it two by two by two. Okay, so now we have uh, six bad edges. So I would do uh, in this case I would do um, just these four first, like that, and then these two, just like that. Okay, so now do a y, uh, y prime to uh, uh, put the remaining faces of R and U layers. I see this, I can do it like that. This case, um, I use this algorithm. It's a bit long, but it's pretty good, I think. Uh, I don't do use soon COLL, so I just do soon. And hit, I use this T perm. Right. Okay, second scramble. Hmm. Okay, I didn't see anything great, but actually no, this is not bad. Right, so uh this pair stands out to me and uh, I see now that I can connect it with this to make a square like that and then this um, is in the perfect position you just do, do a L2 and it goes in place and we just finish off a 2x2x2 two by two by two like that uh, I think this is going to be my um, green red uh, edge yeah it is um, so I'm going to so I don't really see where all the pieces I need for this uh, block is, so I'm just going to do this one even though it looks kind of bad. I would probably do it like this, put down the edge first, and then use this uh, F2L uh, case. So yeah, this case, uh, I learned it from CFOP. So actually I think it's kind of useful to watch CFOP example solves for uh, Petrus as well, because you learn these sort of useful tricks. Uh, so these are my four bad edges, and I would solve it like this. Uh, by chance, I get a block made, so just put it down. And I think I'm going to skip OLL. And I get F perm. Alright, uh, so this pair stands out to me again and uh, I, I'm trying to figure, so I'm trying to figure out a way to join this to this while putting this in a nice position. So the way I figured out is I first put this down here like, like this, then I do the D prime and then I, put a, I do this so that it will connect with that. And uh, the way I figured that out is I just figured out like I just sort of visualized in my mind uh, like do I put this edge down first or the other edge down first and so on until I figured out which one works best. So this case, this edge will join with this edge if I first do a F prime, then U two, these are joined, and I do this to form the block. 
these four edges are bad so we just flip these two first and then these two uh, okay so now this case um, I would probably do something like this so I pair these up first and then my edges on the bottom so it's sort of like an F2L pair just do that last pair then I can do COL and I get a EPL. Okay, I see a pretty uh, finger tricky. Two by two by two. So this thing, uh, I know that I can make it like this. It's kind of just a nice trick. Uh, if you see something like this, you can just join it up like that. And I was able to track this edge uh, to this place, and I just do R to D to put it in place, and then L two. So that's pretty uh, pink finger tricky. Um, so I don't know if that was the most efficient 2x2, but I think uh, you could do that pretty fast in a solve. So first thing I see is these two, and I can join up like that. And in this pair I can make it come together with this, like this. So uh, yeah. Uh, so this case, um, I would probably prefer to do this uh, like the first flipping two and then flipping four. Uh, so I would do this first. I would flip these two. Then I flip these four. Okay, this case. Uh, so I would probably just put this down first and then do this uh, thing. Then this pair. Uh, the winter wear variation for this case is just do a insert with the U2 and then cancel into the back soon. And um, I get a Z perm. Okay, I see a pretty nice two by two by two. So this and this. Um, it's always good to recognize a pattern like this because you can just form a square really easily. And I saw pretty, that pretty much did not affect the position of the, the last edge I need to place. So I knew that it was going to be here and I just need to do a D prime to place it in position and then do a F prime to finish off the block. Um, so I see this edge, this corner needs to go here. It's uh, and I see you will go with this edge, so I can do this to um, put them together, and then I can just connect to the edge like that. So I've got these bad edges. I just do a U and flip these two, flip these two, and my bad. Um, I'm I have everything oriented. This case. So um, I would first do this, so I get this sort of thing, and this is kind of like a, you know, it would imagine if you use a blue cross, uh, you would, if this was a blue cross and this is a cross edge and this was f 2 pair, you would do it something like this. So that's, so that's how I would, I would solve that. This is just a normal pair. I do not know this 2GLL, unfortunately. Or... Well, that was a PLL skip anyway. Okay. Um. Right, so I see I can make a square, a wide square like this. 
And once I've made the square, I just have to figure out how do I put my edge into the last position. And I saw it, it was here. And I just do that. Okay, this edge, I see this edge is connected here, so that's great. And the pair that needs to go with it is here. So I would just join that up. And um, the fastest way to insert this would probably be to do this. Okay, so it's better than doing a sledgehammer into the back. You just go U2, R2, F, R2. Okay, these are my bad edges. And I would just flip them, flip these two first, and then cancel into flipping these two. Okay, my edge is on the bottom, which is great. I'll just solve this pair first. And here I know a sort of a multi-slotting trick. Just go like this. And I skip um, skip all the other chance and I'm just left with a U perm. Okay, this is not the greatest 2x2 two two, uh, the world has ever seen, but um, it's decent. So I see that um, if I do this, I create this sort of square with a hole missing. So it'd be great if I could somehow get the piece I need here first. Unfortunately, it's just two moves away. And you can just make this and uh, you get a square. The remaining edge is here, and I would just insert it like this. Okay, so now I do a, a Y prime. Um, okay, this block, these blocks, this is a nice trick. Um, it's just a useful case that uh, I learned. I'll put a PDF with some of these sort of cases uh, down in the description, um, so you can uh, look at them. Alright, so we've got six bad edges. Uh, this is the only good one. So, uh, this case, I would flip these two. And then there's four bad edges in, this, in the sort of rue arrow position. So I just do m, u prime, m prime. Uh, sorry, m prime, u prime, m. Okay. Now I see this will go with this, like that. And then just do that. Then I insert that in the back. Uh, oh, I actually know this 2GLO. It's actually just two soons. You go uh, do a soon, U, and then soon again. It's a pretty nice 2GLO case. Okay, I see a pretty decent 2x2x2, two by two by two. so um, this pair will go with this edge uh, like this. So I put this down and connect this edge with the center, create a square. And I saw that this would, my last piece would end up here, and you just need two moves to put it in place. And then I just place it down. Uh, I see all, I can see all of my... Um, uh, two by two by three pieces, so that's great. What I would probably do here is I would do this to join those up. Then I would put um, this edge down here like that, and then make this like that. So yeah, um, uh, on Lars Petrus's website, he recommends that you don't break up the two by two very often, but. Um, You've really got to use your common sense and figure out like situations where it's better and where it's not. And I, I think this is a situation where it comes in handy. Okay, so our four bad edges here, 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 and here. And I would just do it like this. Flip these two. Oh, sorry, flip these two. Then flip these two. So this case is just like a F2L case. I just put the edge down first. Then I just do this. Then I would uh, 
make this pair and um, I do know the winter variation but I think I've forgotten it actually yeah the winter variation is this yeah and um, now we've got a JPEG. Okay, uh, this case. Alright, um, so I see this uh, edge. I can see that this edge connects to the center, and this edge will connect to the center very easily. So um, that makes me wonder if the if I can place uh, the pair in easily as well. And I see the pair is here, and it just um, it's sort of like a one move pair. So what I'll do is I'll preserve the pair first by doing this, by doing R L L, and then put the uh, put uh, connect the edge to its centers. And then now I can um, I can place this down while making this pair. So I put do this first, make the pair, and then join the pair with this edge, and then go like that. Okay, so this case, um, so you should this case you should try and imagine it like this is a cross edge, and you're solving with red cross, and this is an F two L pair. So if if that were the case, if I was a red cross solver and I got this F two L case, I would solve it like this. So that's how I do that. Uh, this case with four uh, bad edges on the front, do it like this. And then this case, and this I would solve like this. There's two ways of doing this FGL case. Sometimes uh, doing, choosing one way over another will give you cancellations. Uh, and then I just do all the um, and PLL standard stuff. Right, so one last solve because my camera will run out of battery otherwise. Um, Okay, so this case I would do it like this. Um, I would so I would uh, place this here so that when I and then I'm going to place this edge into its position while connecting this, making a square there. So I do this, and then that's made. Here I can uh, create a square by first making a pair and then just doing U two to make the square like that. Now I've got four uh, edge pieces, uh, so I just do it like you would do it in the root method. And um, I would make this pair like this. And uh, it just insert that normally. CLL and H perm. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you wanted me to do uh, even more of these. Um, I probably will anyway because uh, I don't see there uh, don't see any harm in putting more Petrus off the internet. So um, thanks for watching, um, and see you next time.